Hello! Well, here's an interesting painting that I thought I would talk about today. Uh, this is a painting that I painted several years ago and it's of the artist Grayson Perry. The transvestite artist liked dressing in bright clothes, hence the bright clothes of the painting. Um, it's called Grayson Perry as a fascinated scarecrow or portrait of Grayson Perry as a fascinated scarecrow. I've painted a few scarecrow type paintings and the figures have always uh, fascinated me. Perhaps the cruciform shape of scarecrows lighten up the Catholic upbringing of crosses and dead figures hanging from crosses that um, creates such a striking shape and striking emotional shape. But this though, there's nothing deathly about this. This is a really bright and colourful picture. Or you'd imagine the figure is bright and colourful, but the background is rather dark, subdued, strange, mangled. It's almost like a wilderness. That's It's not so much a cornfield as um, a post World War I landscape, perhaps. With dead trees, there's a single figure in the distance, a tiny speck. Perhaps this is a lonely child lost in the woods. We have a rainbow, a half rainbow, uh, a, a symbol echoed from a, one of my paintings entitled The Invisible Woman, which indicates incompleteness. There's something missing in the life. Perhaps the rainbow has been, the colours of the rainbow have been completed with the colours of the outfit. And perhaps that's what completes the rainbow. Um, the Grayson Scarecrow is fascinated by the coloured bird, picking it out among all of the otherwise dead birds, the grey crows that suffuse this landscape. The crows are painted in single, pretty loose strokes, wet in wet as well. I always enjoy doing those, like single brush strokes of that evoke rough feathers and roughness and crudeness. But by comparison, the the perfect pink bird is painted in extremely fine detail in a few a few layers. An interesting thing about this painting too is the frame which is um, has a base of pine wood and then it's covered in plaster. I often decorate my own frames, I did here. I covered it in plaster and uh, acrylic uh, sculpting medium which is basically acrylic paste with um, marble dust or plaster in it. Um, and when that sets, it creates interesting textures. You can actually you texture it while it's wet, which is what I did here with a knife and the back of brushes to create this very thick textured surface. And then you can also place things on it while it's drying and then peel them off when dry to create deep textures as well. Um, once that was set in solid in plain white. I then painted it in first a brown and then gave it a gold coat and also gold dust so it's really quite a spectacular gilt finish on this particular painting which I thought it matches the sh the feel of the cornfield. These lines and striations in the uh, frame are grass like like the grass here but at the same time they're golden so it lights up highlights and surrounds and complements the painting.